But we're starting off with Fre Fred Olsen. That's the Bremer. This yeah. such a popular cruise line, isn't they, it? They're, they're the highest repeat uh, number of, of guests in the in the industry, and I think Sean's going to talk to us about it. And, he and is. Show us he, he's been on board. So let's have a little look at the ships themselves. Well, one thing's for sure, you'll never be bored on Braemar. She may be just 24 tonnes, but she's got all of the conveniences and facilities you need to have a really great time. So why not just jump in this wonderful bubbling jacuzzi there? Or if you're feeling a bit more active, you can have a little swim. Or you could even take a yoga or Pilates class in the brand new fitness centre. That's really good, really state of the art, actually. Ah, well, Braemar offers a great choice of bars. And one of my favourites is behind me, the Marquee Pool Bar, which has this lovely canopied area allowing all of this gorgeous sunshine to flood in. Now, other bars include the Morning Light Pub. That's like having your own local on board and great for socialising with friends, both old and new, of course. If you love panoramic views, then I really recommend the Observatory Lounge with its huge windows. And the grand piano there provides the perfect atmosphere for a pre-dinner drink. Brema has a variety of restaurants. This one is the Grampian. It's one of the slightly more formal and intimate restaurants. There's also the main Thistle restaurant, but both offer a delectable and delicious five-course dinner. Now, for those of you that maybe prefer more relaxed, casual setting, there's Palm's Cafe, and that offers a like a buffet-style service with no set dining times. Braemar always keeps you entertained during the day and also provides you with great and memorable evening entertainment too. Expect every night to be different with a variety of shows, including cabarets, dancing, singing, stand-up comedians, special theme nights too, for example, British night and rock and roll. Braemar offers a wide variety of accommodation to suit all different needs and budgets. You might choose a balcony cabin such as this or go for an outside or inside. And for solo passengers, special single accommodation is also available, often at really good prices too. All cabins have interactive televisions, a safe tea and coffee making facilities, and they all have a really nice, warm and homely feel. And if you want to order breakfast or light snacks or drinks, then a complimentary cabin service is also available. Fabulous ships that, are, like you say, so many people go back again and again yeah. and again. They just fall in. For, it's very friendly atmosphere. Very friendly. They've got the highest highest level of repeat passengers in the industry. Uh, they, they really do. Fantastic ships. Good British product. And Sean always says, you know, it's only £10 per person per day to upgrade to the all-inclusive. That is, which is so, so incredible. Reasonable. That is so, nothing, is value. it? And getting so, so much. But let's have a little look where you're going, because mm. this is, again, another fabulous cruise. The Norwegian Fjords. That's right. So heading out from Dover, uh, relaxing a couple of days at sea. So you're a great chance to get to know that ship, just to you know, sit back, read, get those cocktails in, have a nice G&T, see some of the excellent in English entertainment, excellent lectures they have on board uh, the, the, the ships. And then you're hitting Christiansund. And I love this place. It was one of my favourite ports of call for many years. It's called the City of Flowers. It's the most southerly city and also the sunniest city right. in Norway. Uh, in fact, scientists believe that the original Norwegians came and settled here. Um, the best thing about it is it the lovely docks are full of these, what they call the Sund boats, which were used as the, the public transport. Go and have a look at the, the lovely dock area. Uh, you've got lots of little fishermen's wharfs and narrow alleys and merchant shops. If you want to do your tours, go out on the Atlantic Road. It's one of the most renowned and photographed driving roads in the whole of the world. In stormy weather, um, you know, the waves crash across the road and across the bridges. You've oh, seen pictures wow, of it here. That's it's incredible. absolutely stunning. Whether you want to, you know, you want to go on a, in, in a coach, a car, a bike is the best way. A bike like myself and also you can head out to the lovely place called the uh, Citastel Vintage Railway and this was built in the 19th century steam powered uh, and it gives you stunning views of the local countryside and fjords so two great tips there for you Fabulous. from there we're heading Hayley over to Thrumzo and this is an overnight and this is quite rare to get an overnight on a Norwegian cruise uh, and this is the biggest city above the Arctic Circle it's been the starting point for countless polar expeditions the Norwegians call it the Paris of the North it's got a fantastic cathedral uh, with wonderful stained glass oh, windows gosh. which is you can see it there it's uh, in an iceberg incredible. shape and the massive wind just behind where the, the, the crucifix there, which just in with the midnight sun rushing in is wonderfully eerie and gorgeous. You can take the cable car up to Mount Storsteinen uh, and drink in these wonderful panoramic views while you tuck into a tasty meal. Um, I love this part of the world. Tumzo, big, big, a big, big fan of Tumzo. Um, from here, oh, one other thing, actually for Tumzo, just one other thing, sorry. If you get a chance, go out and see the Sorensen family. They live on Wilderness Island, um, or sorry, Well Island, at the Wilderness Centre, and they have over 300 huskies there there's four of them uh, and it's incredible you can often see the pups and oh, you know you gosh. can see them sled, taking the sleds out great experience 
from there, we're going up to right at the top, the land of the midnight sun. This is the village of Honingsvag. I would say population of 12, including seven reindeer. Um, <laughs> it's an incredible place. We believed place. him earlier on. Really? <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, the local Sami people come here during the summer months when, it, when the midnight sun's here because it's here between mid-May through to July that the sun never dips below the horizon. Um, and of course in the winter as well, it gets dark all the time, it's incredible. You can head out to the North Cape for panoramic views and there's a restaurant, a theatre and a gift shop there um, and you can get the legendary North Cape postmark for your letters which all, you know, all the guests want to try and get and I recommend you do it, it's a great little uh, souvenir. You can also do bird watching here, there's a great ice bar where everything's made of ice completely but the best thing I think is going out and doing the king crab tours and you get to fish the king crab and prepare the king crab as well. Okay. Um, then. Apart from that, we've got a couple of relaxing days at sea, and again, Beautiful. with Norway, there's always something to see. That's you, what you have lots Sean was saying, look out the window, it's absolutely. just incredible. Absolutely, marine life as well, Haley, and bird life abundant all around you. Before you hit Alisund, which is a medley of turrets and spires and ornamental twists, there's a magical fairy tale feel uh, with the Sunny Moor Alps as a backdrop, and your chance to go out on the legendary Trollsteigen Road this time, um, before you then head back uh, to Bergen. Uh, this is the birthplace of the famous Norwegian composer, Edvard Grieg, which many people will know. It's also the, the, the place where you can, you can go and get an amazing tasty fish lunch. It's got a great fish market. But the best thing to do, and the thing I recommended Sean to do, which he did, which of course was to take the cable car up to Mount Floyen and then walk back down, just do a hike around the Mount Floyen. And it's amazing views. Um, that it's and of course Briggins Wolf. No, Breathtaking, it's just so, so special. Just been reduced as well, reduced this week. And then you're sailing back to Dover. Yeah. Dover, there we go. Well, well that, you, you said it there, you're sailing back to Dover. We, we are back to Dover, I'm afraid the holiday is over, <laughs> know, but you have had a fabulous time. It's over Dover. <laughs> over at Dover. But have a look at what you have been on board, because a, a lovely ship, family friendly ship, very nice ship that lots of people go back to again and again. Absolutely. And again, this, this ship was extensively refurbished in 2012, so, and they're always upgrading their ships. They've always uh, got a great little pub on board called the Morning Light Pub. We do a great pint in there, so if you are a pub fan, uh, head through there. And maybe uh, watch a bit of football over the summer. Now let's have a little look at what you've got included and what an incredible price you have because this has just been reduced this week, which is incredible. It has, yeah. and It's, it's 12 nights, that's practically two it's, weeks. It's, it is incredible. It's £500 off the brochure price, £50 per person per night. Now that, when you think that's including your food, your entertainment, you're waking up in a different place every day, you're unpacking once and you're seeing all these parts of Norway, um, you know, just can you try and find an, an alternative holiday like that in the UK? I struggle no, to stay can't. in Peterborough for £50 per person. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, that, that, I struggle that, to stay in a tent for that. <laughs> you know, in my own tent, paying on a campsite and trying to get everything in. And there's no getting. breathtaking views. You really have got an incredible, incredible cruise. Yeah. And of course, you can upgrade to all inclusive, just ten pounds per person per night. So then you've paid for virtually all and everything. But of course, you have got so much that you can book with Planet Cruise, and of course, you can book, book the excursions as well. That's right. You can save up to sixty percent on on some of these excursions. And the best thing about it, of course, is taking the pain out of getting on board, going to the port showcase. Thinking, oh, I've got, I need to book the tours and queue up. And yes. then you get there and sometimes they're fully booked or, you know, and so make that first day relaxing, sit back, have a cocktail, you know, have a pint of beer, let the world go, you know, kind of sail past slowly and not worry about booking your tours. Do it before you get on. And Norwegian Fjords, that's what it's all about. Just sit mm. back, relax and enjoy.